So what's up guys, it's the Fallen Sanctum here and today I got a cool thing for you. Uh, I'm going to be opening, we're going to be opening up two trainer kits. This is the Alolan Raichu and Lycanroc Midnight Form uh, trainer kit and this is the Latios and Latias kit. Um, one second, I'll just... Nice. Alright, so essentially what this thing is, is it's a, uh, they're pre-constructed 30 card decks. Uh, they're meant to play, you know, one against another. Um, but if you combine both, it actually turns them into a not-so-bad deck with a few minor edits. It could be a deck for, like, around $20, $25, which is not bad, considering most Pokemon decks uh, nowadays are uh, between $300 and $500. Um, so, oh, yeah. this, 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 the point of this video is mainly to show you guys that there is uh, casualness in Pokemon products. Uh, most Pokemon produce is either to show off a specific legendary or Pokemon, and normally there are things that come with them. Either it's like a theme deck where it's a deck based around that Pokemon only, or it's something like this where you take two really cool Pokemon and then you just put them side by side in a trainer kit, put 29 cards related to this Pokemon, and then bam, you're good to go. So let's tear and, into them. Uh, thing we should say is these are learning tools. These yeah, are these are these are learning tools. It comes with the damage counter thing. It comes with the uh, the uh, a uh, sort of like rule book for each of the decks. So for Latios and Latias, you have the tips and strategies on what to do with them. And it even comes with this really cool. Uh, depending on which uh, box you get, the uh, the Alolan. Uh, this is for Alolan Raichu and Lycanroc. So it's pretty cool. And there's also leagues and stuff that also allow you to participate. Yeah, a lot of a lot a lot of stores do is mainly I think on Saturdays or Fridays. Well in our area. Yeah, in our in our area in Montreal where we're at. It's on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, sometimes card uh, most of the time card shops will be hosting um, like a Pokemon event for kids. And uh, well kids and learners where it's called it's entitled like how to play Pokemon. And essentially what they do is they, they either use things like this or pre-constructed theme decks and they just they open one up, they, they show you guys what's in it, um, and then they teach you guys how to play. So we're going to be opening them up, comparing to see if the Gen 3 Legendaries are better than the Gen 7 All-Stars. So let's find out. Let's open up. Since 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 we're getting uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon this year, we're going to be opening up Alolan Raichu and uh, Lycanroc. Since... Uh, since some of my friends are Gen 1ers to please them. We're gonna do the uh, Gen 1 remake first. You know, the Gen 1ers. Uninspired trash. Oh, I'm sorry. I came back during Generation 2. Wow, 10 man. Alright, so let's start <laughs> off. So, this is really cool. We get one super rare Alolan Raichu. The rest of these, I think, are common. So, we got a really cute Pikachu card. And now we're getting. Let's see if I can split it up. I wanna. Because uh, these decks are the, the way they're pre-constructed is they're meant so that you don't even need to shuffle the cards, you just you just play it out. So let's so for some reasons these decks come with an abnormal amount of energy. I do believe. Well, they don't play the standard. Like, yeah, this, this isn't the standard way of playing Pokemon. This is just introducing people to the game. So, but let's go let's go with the Pokemon first. We'll do the items and the supporters later. But this is this is a pretty cool deck, and you also have to understand that when they give you these decks, it's to make the person buy cards and also like yeah. So th this cards. is like this is like a basic startup. It's not something like a battle arena deck where I'll actually um, I'll actually be picking up the uh, Cure and Black. Uh, yeah, we'll probably take that. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick up a Cure and Black uh, battle arena deck. We'll show you guys what's exactly is inside. We'll pick up a theme deck and show you guys what's inside. It's a lot of fun. So we got two Pikachu's and two Raichu's. One of them is non hollow but it's still pretty cool. I still really like the Alolan Raichu. Um, it's really cool that he can surf on his own tail. And he even has his own Pokemon uh, episode in the anime dedicated to himself called, I think it's like the Pancake Race or something like that. It's pretty fun. Um, Pikachu and Raichu. Uh, Ash's Pikachu and Raichu uh, race. Uh, so this deck, one thing one thing these products are known for is having incomplete evolution lines. So here you have one Grubbin, but there's no Charger Bug and no Vicavolt. Here you have one Sparrow, but there's no Fearow. There's one Stuffle, one Beware, one Togedomaru, one Drowsy but no Hypno, and a Zubat Goldbat, no Pro Bat. Yeah, so. But this is just like, it's just showing you guys, like, what I can do. Don't, um, ex don't expect to take this deck and... Don't, like, this isn't a deck where, example, you go, look close, you win, right? This, this is to learn the game. 
Not to the get Kieran it to the black one. Has to, you uh, still have to modify it. The Kieran black one, no. They're uh, the battle arena. The battle arena decks are old uh, expanded decks. Yeah. So they're they're ready to play like on the go. They're each sixty cards. And like you can modify it to be more competitive. But so here, yeah. there's an unreasonable amount of energy. So let's skip over that energy. But you get it. You have psychic, uh, psychic energy needing Pokemon like. The Zubat and Goldbat and the Drowsy, and you have electric Pokemon like the Raichu, Pikachu, and Togedomaru. So that's why you have those two kinds of energies within the deck. So overall, pretty good so far. Now let's get into the trainers and the supporters. So here you only get two two supporters. So you got two Hals, which allows you to draw three cards. It's which not is, bad. Which is actually good in this case. Yeah, in, in a casual sort of deck, it's really good. Uh, you get two Great Falls, where you look at the top seven cards of your deck, and if you find a Pokemon within it, you can reveal it to your opponent, and uh, then you put it in your hand, then you shuffle your deck. And there's Potion that heals 30 damage. Okay, so that's not bad. So, as expected, uh, in a Raichu-based deck, that there's more electric than psychic energy. Um, even though he is uh, an electric and a psychic type, and not a fairy type, like a lot of people presume. Mainly because the fact that levitating off your tail makes it so that you have psychic powers. Should have le levitated the game, though. No, he has... What is it? Silver... S well, the surf one, but it's, on it's only ability. Alright, so now uh, we have... Uh, we have Lycanroc, Minite Form, and the old Lycanroc promo. And the old Lycanroc promo. Which was a well, Manuel, Manuel is mad. Yeah. <laughs> because he bought these, and then he was like, the fuck reprints? Alright, so here in the deck, for some reason, you have a Caterpie. I guess it's because at Nap... Oh, okay, no, it's... I'm, I'm not sure why there's Caterpie in this deck. Uh, this is mainly normal in fighting, so we see here. Uh, let's see, is there another Pokemon that I missed? There's no one or any other type of energy. So, yeah, it's, it's right really away, I would probably want to go with the Lycanroc because it's just one type of energy. So yeah, it means it means whatever Pokemon you're playing, even the Lycanroc, it won't get it won't get cock blocked. By example, the Piggy, the Ratchet only have like only having psychic energy, which is not likely since there's so much damn energy in this deck. But you get the point. So, you know, you don't want to brick with the wrong kind of energy and then not be able to play it. So you have a 2-2 of the Lycanroc uh, Rock Rough. You have a... What is it? A... Ooh. You have a Stage 2 Evolution, a 1-1-1 of the Piggy Pack, Trump a Beak, and Toucanon. Now this bird is one angry motherfucker. If you meet him in-game, he will tear you up. And if you met him in real life, he'd probably just kill you for fun. Like, this, this this, Pokemon's description, let's read it, just because it's so fucking dark. So, within its beak, its internal gas ignites, explosively launching seeds with enough power to pulverize boulders. Okay, that's and scary. It, I think I think the Sun or Moon uh, decks, uh, it speaks about how uh, uncontrollably pissed off this Pokemon is relative to Primate and Mankey, Pokemon that are known to die over anger issues. So, like, this, this Pokemon is not your friendly neighborhood Toucan Man. Stay away, kids. Uh, hide your kids, hide and your right wives. Away, right away, you can tell that the Lycan Rock has more advantage over the Raichu. Yeah, because already it's hit, it hits for weakness and it has a resistance to its own counterpart in the mirror match for two canon. That's not bad. So but it balances out because of the normal the yeah, types. Yeah, exactly. So it's weak It's weak to Raichu, but it hurts. Yeah, but Lycan Rock hurts Raichu, so. It's balanced out. Now you have a 1-1 one, one, uh, Fletchling fetch in their line, the uh, Talonflame tree, for people that know Talonflame from VGC. Uh, it's not bad. It, uh, Fletchling reduces damage while uh, I mean, fetch in there can do a decent amount of damage. You got the, the Baron Trump, the young Trump. You can do some damage. And uh, well, then you got Makuhita standard... Uh, the fighting uh, type Pokemon have a lot of uh, HP. So as you can see, as a basic, having 80 HP is huge. Uh, seeing yeah, even Fetchinder, uh, Fetchinder, and uh, let's see, yeah, Fetchinder and Trumpy, uh, Trumpy has 80 HP, but it's a stage one. This is a basic, so this is huge. That there is uh, Pokemon, yeah. Just to evolve it means your Pokemon's gonna tank. You see, even Lycanroc only has 110, and Toucanon has. 140, but Which it's a stage not, 2. Yeah, but so, 140 is still pretty decent. Yeah, 140 is still pretty decent. Now let's get into the uh, let's get into the items. So there's a fuck ton of gra uh, gra fighting energy that we don't need to go into. It's how you attach one energy a turn. You get to attack um, when you meet the requirements. So again, two house, two great balls. 
But and it's one, a big Mesuda, which is a little different. A big Malasada. Yeah, so malasada. Uh, this time, instead of healing 30, you heal 20 from a po from your active Pokemon. And if it has a condition, uh, mainly, let's see, it's, uh, this is Poison, this is Paralysis, and there's another one that signifies Burn? The one that yeah, signifies... Burn. Okay, so which one's Paralysis? Paralysis, you just changed the Pokemon. Like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. They, they even yeah. made tokens if you buy Elite Trainer boxes. Because so, this, see, this is another point of buying merchandise. Is instead of getting, like, cardboard material, you get plastic material. And then maybe in the future we'll get metallic material. But since this is for kids, just for safety reasons, I'm pretty sure the Pokemon Company will not release metal-based products. As when kids get angry, they fling shit. And when you fling shit, or, people get angry. Or laws related to Europe. Yeah, yeah, so G G Germany and Belgium, weird people. I'm German, not from Germany, though, but, you know, weird laws. Um, so anyways, and um, a, a shizer of, of uh, fighting energy. It's like taking a shit. So, so far, we're aware that the Lycan Rock seems to appear yeah. to the right, too. Yeah, Lycan Rock would have the advantage. Now let's open up the Brothers and Sister deck. So we have Lycan, uh, we have Latias on one side and Latias on the other side. These are Gen 3, they're the Soul Dew Legendaries. As um, upon in uh, Ruby and Emerald, you get the Soul Dew, which allows you uh, in Ruby to catch Latios, in Sapphire to catch Latias. However, uh, after beating the game, you can catch either or uh, one that you didn't catch in Tall Grass near your hometown, which is pretty cool. So let's hop in with uh, Latias, uh, the cuter legendary in most people's eyes. And how do you open this back? There's no like retard stamp. Okay. Don't out? No. I'm a strong independent black woman. There we go. So we got our main babe, Ladias. That's what Ladias does. She has Psychic Sphere that does 20 damage. If not, um, she has a Psychic Prism. So you flip a coin. If heads, it does 20 more damage. So that's pretty nice. It's also a super. So let's see. What do we have with this? This I assume this deck's going to be a little different. Yeah, like we have the second Ladias. And we mainly have Psychic and Grass Energy for this deck. Um, yeah, we only have Psychic and Grass Energy. Mainly because there's a lot of Grass Pokemon, and there's a lot of Psychic Pokemon. We do have one normal Pokemon, though. So let's get into it. Alright, so we've got Trico. Let's see, do we have, like, Grovile? We've got Grovile. I imagine we have a 2-2... Two -two, yeah, we have a 2-2 two -two Trico uh, Grovile. Uh, Trico's quick attack, it does a bit of damage. Uh, it does 10 plus 10 if you get a heads on the coin flip. Oh my god, please. Uh, let's see, agility. Oh, that's not bad. Um, if you land agility with Grovile and you call head, well, if, if it's heads when you flip the coin, you prevent damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks and effects. For the next turn. Yeah, so that's not bad. So let's see, we have Lotad. We have uh, Tutu Lotad Lombre. So yeah, Lotad Lombre. There's decent Pokemon. Somewhat bulky, so they're nice. Uh, Tangela with Tangrowth. Tangrowth allowing you uh, allowing you to do damage based on your opponent's retreat cost. It does 10 more damage for each retreat cost in your opponent's active Pokemon retreat cost zone. And while Tangela, even though it has expensive attacks, Absorb can heal this Pokemon. So you can, you can like, tank a bit just early like Mega on. Drain, uh, yeah. Mega Drain. Yeah, just like Mega Drain. Except Mega Drain does 50 and Absorb does 20. As normal because uh, Mega Drain is the, um, is the, uh, what do you call it? It's the predecessor? Well, it's, it's just, the it's the upgrade. It's, it's the, the upgrade. upgrade. Yeah. yeah, it's the upgrade attack. It's the updated attack. Right? Updated, yeah. So we have Surskit, just one Surskit and one Fletchling. Um, just like the same rules that we said about Kuru Raichu. Yeah. It's going to be Pokemon that. Some random Pokemon that don't make any sense in the deck, but they're just there to be there. Um, let's see. Also, in oh. this one, we don't have any supporters. Which is not. So we have two aggro bags. So essentially, you draw two cards. Uh, the one goes to hand, the other goes to this card pile. You have it twice, so I guess you can draw a total of four cards. But two of only two of them stay in your hand. So that's a little weird. That makes. I don't know. If this has. If this has. Um, Supporters, then it'll make this the superior one by category. Then we have the potion. It heals 30. So, alrighty. And then just a shit ton of uh, grass and psychic energy, which isn't too bad. Now let's open up. It focus more on the grass aspect. Just a bit more. Yeah. Well, because Latios only has that uh, that uh, one or two energy requirements. It's not like that third uh, energy needs to be psychic. Yeah. So, but it was a little weak. Alright, let's see. Let's see what Latios does. 
Let's see, Ladio, supersonic flight, flip a coin, if tails, this attack does nothing, and sideburn for 70 damage. That okay, so disappointing. <laughs> yeah, so this is a fighting, this is a fighting slash psychic deck, that has fighting and psychic energy, with a few normal Pokemon, like always. So let's get into it, we've got the other Latios. We have a Soul Rock, which searches up... He searches for two special energies. Wait, are there special energies in here? No? Okay. That's... That's really interesting that they put a special energy Pokemon when there's no special energy. Yeah. Sorry about that. Random hand. Here, we have one Delcaddy and one Skitty. Uh, Charm, yeah, right. Charm reduces damage, and uh, Delcaddy has a nice attack. Its first attack allows you to move energy... Uh, you move energy to your Pokemon in any way you'd like. Then we have the um, we have another Solrock. We have another Macho. Okay, so we have a two-two Macho Macho Clan. Just beaters at this point. They they, they do damage. Uh, high high energy attach. Uh, high energy cost well one and two, but it's for ten and forty damage respectively. So it's not too bad. It's a decent bit of damage. Oh, another Skitty and another Delcaddy. And then we have a 2-2 Rhyhorn Rhydon line. So once again, self self damage is a big thing in this, where you do damage to yourself, but you do damage to your opponent as well. And here we also have no supporters. Well, you only got one acrobatic in that one? That's strange. Alright, let's check. That is really weird. That's the first trainer kit I've opened that has no supporters. Maybe... Maybe no, it was fine because it's old. Stuff. Yeah, it, this is from the X and Y generation, so I do understand. But I find it a little strange that this is how you show people how to play the game. So overall, just just for the main lack of supporters, even though my main man Ladias, my main Chica Ladias is there, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it to uh to Lycan Chu, uh Raichu and uh, Lycan Rock. Well, out of out of the four decks, I would say Lycan Rock has the best. Yeah, out of the four decks, uh, clearly. Let's see, what's Lycan Rock's weakness? Lycan it's Rock's... grass. Yeah, it's grass. Okay, so it, it doesn't have an opponent here. It doesn't have a weakness to Latias, Latias, or uh, Alolan Raichu. And it has, a, it has an advantage on Alolan Raichu. And I think I think the Skitty and Delcaddy lines with the... Uh, there's one normal Pokemon here, but I think... Yeah, no, it's a Fletchling, so it's weak to... Uh, like yeah, it's retail electric. So yeah, overall, uh, the the Lycan Rock deck rules superior. But if we were to combine both these decks, the uh, the uh, the Alolan the Alolan deck would take out the uh, the Soul Dew deck. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, this was pretty cool to open. Some of these cards are really nice to have. I might keep some around in the binder just because they're good looking. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, me and Emmanuel enjoyed making it. Yeah. Um, so on that note, we're gonna let you guys go, and I hope you guys have a good one. I'll check it out.